everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with more Jurassic World action figures. I have a whole table just off frame here full of toys. I talked about it in my last video. If you haven't already done so, go check that one out. We uh, look, looked at the Succomimus, Suchomimus, whatever you want to call it, and had a good time making fun little videos with it. If you like seeing that, let me know. So I'm going to do the same with these. I'll make little, I don't know, just fun, like, fun little action videos before the, you know, before the review starts. You guys already saw it by now. But... On to what we're doing today. Enough about that. On to what we're doing today. I'm doing all of Wave 2. This is all the Wave 2 action figures. So we have Claire and a Stegosaurus. You can see a little close-up right there. Claire and the Stego. I've got Wheatley. There's another little close-up there of Wheatley. He looks pretty cool. Um, we've got Lockwood Battle Owen. Lockwood Battle Owen. There you go. He's got a cool little baton. Now there is a variant of all of these that actually don't have this little blue thing in the corner. Wrong corner. This little blue thing in the corner that says New, Nuevo, Nuevil, no, Nuvo, and then Novo. Um, all the different languages of New. But there's some that don't have it at all, just like this Maisie figure. In fact, I have two Maisies. Two Maisies. I've got one with the new thing, one without. I took a look here and I picked one that was my favorite. I bought the other one just to throw up on eBay. I'm going to just do it at auction prices and kind of see what happens, see what people are willing to pay for it. I'm not looking to scalp. Um, I might make like two or three dollars just for my effort, but I'm not gonna like put up put it up for 40 bucks If it goes that high or something great, but either way the whole point is I got two because I lucked out She's starting to show up at Walmart's which is a huge mistake. It's kind of funny that Has not Hasbro. I keep saying Hasbro because all the Star Wars stuff, but Mattel came out and they said specifically Maisie is a Target exclusive, but Due to some big distribution error this last week or so, she has been showing up at Walmarts all across the country. Uh, there's a lot of really good Facebook groups and even people on Instagram that share this news. So if you're a big fan of the Jurassic World toys, definitely jump on Instagram. Follow me, of course, at Dano Flores, but follow a lot of these other accounts like Ted Brothers, there's Jurassic Collectors, there's a ton. All you have to do is do a little bit of searching. They're out there sharing the news. And if you're on Facebook, Paddock9 is another really good group where there's a lot of good info going around. So, just keep your eyes out. She's showing up at Walmart, even though she's not supposed to be there. And another heads up about this whole wave is on BrickSeek. If you're a toy collector and you're using BrickSeek, BrickSeek.com, they're not a sponsor, but I use them. Um, you can usually put in the little UPC codes for Target. You get a DCPI number. And within the toy collecting world, we use this to track and see where the inventory is at in our local area. It doesn't work for the specific barcodes for this wave. There's a barcode for the entire box, and that's how they're tracking it. They're not tracking it by individual figures like they do with some toys. So what you'll see is that a, a store will get the whole box, and you just have to get there fast because there's only one Maisie in every box. There's a billion Owens. There's quite a few Wheatleys, and I don't know the count. Sorry, Wheatleys. And I don't know the count for Claire, but I'm assuming it's probably just one per box. That's what they seem to be... Uh, doing with the females like at target the ellie sattler figure she was one per case and you know you get a bunch of muldoons and a bunch of grants which is a weird thing i get it maybe they think females don't buy toys as much but i think everybody can enjoy toys and everybody should and even little boys may want the little girl figure or the female figure or claire you know we want all the figures really why i, I don't know I, it's just my own thoughts on it let me know what you think do you think they should put more female variety in these cases because we don't need a billion owens every i mean i get it. everyone's gonna want owen more people will want owen than anything else but it'd be nice just to see like a higher count on these female characters because they get really hard to find all right enough of my rambling um i'm gonna show you two of the boxes i'm gonna show you claire's box and i'm gonna show you Maisie's box because they're basically the same thing. So take a look at these close-ups here. So this is Claire. We kind of already saw her earlier. Claire and the Stegosaurus. They all have the blue and Owen buddy cop thing going on there. See my face in the corner there? It's because I'm looking through my GoPro. Um, but this is the front of the package. Just normal. You got the volcano blowing up in the background. The little blue thing on the side up there. It says New, Nouveau, Nuevo. Pretty good looking package. They're all basically the same. Now on the back... It doesn't have anything about the Jurassic Facts, because this isn't a dinosaur, even though it comes with Stegosaurus. Uh, it's not a dinosaur, so it doesn't have it on there. I did notice that uh, zero to three sad babies do approve of this toy, and all of the toys in this whole line. Nothing going on on the bottom there. But you can see the other characters that they mentioned. We've got Wheatley, we've got Owen, Lockwood Battle Owen, and then we have the other trainer Owen over on this side. Now, when we look at the back of Maisie's box, here's Maisie's box. It's very similar. 
Uh, in fact, this time we've got Claire listed on there. So that's this is kind of all of the round two figures. Now I apologize, it's going to be a bit longer of a video because we're going to be unboxing all of them. Um, who should I start with? Let's get the boring one out of the way first. Let's do Owen Lockwood Battle first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open them up. I'm just kind of describe what I think about them. And then I'm going to throw them in the diorama once I've got all four of them open. And we'll get some really good close-ups. All right. So Mattel has done a, well, or yeah, a really cool thing. There's this little tab on the bottom, like a little open hole. You can just kind of pull that. And the package comes right off fairly cleanly. And you can get your toy out and still keep your package intact. And slip it back in there if you want, like just for collector purposes. Um, so far we have this cool little riot baton thing for Lockwood Battle Owen. He comes with a fancy shotgun that's like rubber banded to his waist, which I might just want to keep there. I like that. Uh, and then also a little knife. We've seen this little knife in other versions of Owen so far, but it's behind tape, so it's kind of hard to get at. In fact, I think it's, I think it's taped behind the pack. Normally they're in the front where you pull the characters out. This one's actually in the back behind the package. That's an interesting move. That's a really interesting move. Maybe it was an afterthought to include the knife? I don't know. But that's... that's interesting. It's a tiny, t very easy to lose knife. I bet this is going to be the accessory that years from now, everyone's like, oh, but does it have the knife? Kind of like Yoda with the snakes and the canes. Like, it's going to be a similar deal. I was like, well, okay, but do you still have the knife? Because it does not want to stick. There's a little hole in his back. It's a tiny little hole in his back. You guys can see it there. So the knife kind of goes, see a tiny little hole right there? This knife is supposed to clip in. It's supposed to stay there. But unfortunately, it's very loose. And it just pops right out. So this is going to get lost. I'm telling you right now. And you know what? I don't like that. That's, to me, that's kind of a thumbs down thing. I'm like, eh, I don't love it. There's just a quick little close up of Owen. You can kind of see him there. You got little marks on his legs. He's got marks on his chest. This is by the end of the movie when he's already been beat up enough. You know what, I am going to remove the rubber banded little shotgun piece. It's got a little orange tip on there. I think it looks pretty cool, actually. Um, again, I don't know if you guys want to see that close-up of that little knife. It is tiny, tiny, tiny. And then here's his little riot gear baton thing. Now, there are variants of this where the whole thing is one color, supposedly. I haven't seen that one in most stores in my area. But just so you guys are aware, there are variants that are out there, as well as the variant packages. And I don't know that there's a correlation between the variant package and the variant colored weapon. Keep using the word variant, variant, variant. Uh, this character does not have rotating wrists. You would think if he had a shotgun, they would give him rotating wrists. It's just like they go hand in hand, don't they? I guess hand in gun. Um, so he doesn't really hold on to this shotgun very well, which is a little disappointing. They should have given him rotating wrists. It just, it, it only makes sense to do something like that. And I'm a little disappointed that they didn't. You can still position the gun in his hand decently, and he looks okay, as you guys can see right there. He looks okay, but he's not, he's definitely not ready to shoot it. You can't really, you can't do a whole lot with that. So I'm going to give Lockwood Owen a thumbs down. If you already own one of the other Owens, stick with him. Because the knife doesn't stay in very well. You're going to lose it. He's cool because he's got the rips and stuff in his arms and his chest or his little stomach area and his leg. Like, those rips are cool. And the face sculpt is actually pretty decent. But overall, if you already have one of the other Owens, go with it. I don't remember this thing from the movie at all. So, I'm going to just move on. And who should we do next? Let's... Let's go male, female, male, male, female. So next up, we're gonna do Claire. Let's take a look at Claire with her Stegosaurus. And she even comes with this cool little like computer accessory, which I like. Now this is the second version of Claire that I'll own because I have the one with the gyrosphere in Claire and I really, really like that actually. I happen to put, I have it right here. I just keep it next to me. I have the remote control gyrosphere. This is a different, fancier one. And I put her in there with the little fake Owen that it came with. Uh, and I really like that Claire figure. I think they did a good job on the sculpt. She looks right on. Now this one in the yellow jacket. I, I like I like her. I think she looks good. This is like her, if I recall, it's been a while since I've seen the movie now. Though it's coming out on digital release very soon. And I'm going to be getting it on digital so I can watch it early. Um, I believe September 4th is when it hits digital. Throw in that. And I believe September 18th is when it's going to be on Blu-ray and DVD for home release. Um, now, this is a very basic figure. I, like I said, I believe this is from the whole 
Dinosaur Protection Agency, which is why she has the yellow coat. Um, got a nice little ponytail. The sculpt looks good. She looks, she's a good looking figure. I think she looks cool. Yeah, just take a look at her. She's, the, the coat's nice. The coat does kind of lift up a little bit. It's not removable because her arms are definitely painted yellow, but um, it is nice. Like it's it's a nice like rubbery feel. You guys can see like in there. It's it's kind of neat how this, it's a, it's a neat, well-made toy. Again, the knees bend, uh, ankles do not rotate, wrists don't rotate, but the elbows do, arms do, head rotates. Pretty cool. This is her little accessory. It's this little computer thing that she, I guess she tracks dinosaurs with. Is there anything like useful in there? No, there's no actual writing. It's just a bunch of gibberish. That's fine. Now this is the part I really like. The baby Stegosaurus. It, this harkens back to the old Kenner days when all the figures came with the dinosaur. There was a version of Owen that came with blue. Um, I believe there's going to be some other ones down the road. Zia. And I forget what the other kid's name was. Oh my goodness. It, uh, I forget his name. I forget his I want to say the same name as the Aardvark. I don't know. I'm blanking on that other kid's name. I really liked him though, but he was a big scaredy cat. Franklin. Wasn't it Franklin? Yeah. Yeah, like the Aardvark. Isn't he an Aardvark? Uh, maybe I'm thinking of someone else. Either way. I, I like it. I'm going to give this one a thumbs up. If you can find it, the sculpt on this guy is really cool. The sculpt on the Stego is really nice. The sculpt on Claire is really cool. Her accessory is unique. It's nothing to write home about, per se, but it is unique. And I like that, actually. I think that's kind of cool. That is a neat, cool accessory. You can just put it in her hand. It can be like she's reading it, kind of awkwardly. There we go. We'll bend her arm a little bit. She looks a little better like that. Okay, we're going to set her up in the diorama in just a minute. So we've done one male, one female. Let's get on to Wheatley, the man everybody loves to hate, Wheatley. I knew instantly when I was watching the movie. I was like, this guy is going to be the bad guy, for sure. Or a bad guy. I don't know if there was one specific, but there was a bad guy. It's definitely Wheatley. He could be considered one of those. Now, he... I didn't show you anything on the box because it's the same stuff. He comes with an assault rifle. He just looks like a cool old mercenary man. And he also comes with a carrying case for his assault rifle. Now, in the package, you couldn't really see much about the inside of it. Uh, in fact, it's very hard to get out. I'm afraid to break it. Someone's got to clean that up. Oh, I don't... Okay, Oh, I, this is neat. This... It, Mattel. Mattel. You guys did good. Okay, so take a look at the inside here. Notice what those are? Those are teeth. Those are dinosaur teeth, which in the movie, remember he went and like, he was. that's how we knew he was a jerk. That was the first sign we knew that this guy was a bad guy, was when he went over to the dinosaur and he used his little pliers and he ripped out one of its teeth. It was really messed up, but he's collecting this little collection of teeth and they're inside of his bag. Uh, that, uh, okay, that gets me a little too excited, like for a grown man about to be 35 soon, who's still playing with toys. I know that sounds super nerdy, but like, that is cool. And, and get this, look at this close up. So this is the thing, the gun goes right in there and then it closes up and he can wear this around his, ah. Uh. Okay, quality toy. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I love everything about this toy. Look at him, he can hold his little gun in the back. Okay, this is, this is amazing, this is good stuff. Last, we're gonna get to Maisie. All right, let me open this up real quick, real fast. I know it's been a long video. Again, Maisie, we already looked at her. Let's get that out of here. Maisie comes with a baby T-Rex dinosaur, which is not to scale with that Stegosaurus at all. She comes with a large Tyrannosaurus Rex skull, uh, as seen in the Lockwood Manor, which I think is a really cool addition. And that's just her in her little jacket. Whoop, throw that one out. I think she looks good. Overall, she looks like a good character. Her little jacket does open up the same way Claire's does. She has a little white shirt on there. No ankle, wrist, none of that movement, but knees move, legs move, arms move. No elbow movement on her. Maybe it's because she's so small. It might have like damaged the figure. Um, here is her tiny little baby itty bitty T-Rex. Look at that tiny little thing. It is so small. Like in comparison to her, it is so, so tiny. Look at that. All right, next up, we've got the Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna see if I can put this together really quick. It should be very self-explanatory how to do this. 
it shouldn't be anything too wild. I like that. I think that looks really good. Look at that thing. It was really easy to put together. Just three pieces, the two top halves and a jaw clamp right in there. There's this little piece that, oh, you know what? I messed up. I did mess up. Let's see if I can pull this back apart. Let's see if I can put this in here. I just lost a piece. That counts as me knocking something over. At least in my head it does. And this little stand thing goes in the middle. Now again, I'm rushing against the clock because I know my close-up camera is going to die here any minute. And I don't want to miss anything. All right, so let's get this going. Let's... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this. This is cool. This is good stuff. So it does sit on this little swivel thing here. Now, again, we can close this tighter. Make that jaw close up a little tighter. And it's got a little display stand for it to pop into. Maybe if I can get it to go in. There we go. And we've got our little Lockwood Manor T-Rex. We have a T-Rex. Now, the jaw does slowly open over time. Look at that. It is opening. Overall, though, I think this is a cool addition, especially if you have the stem figures, uh, the little dinosaur skeletons. Overall, she's cool. I'm glad to have her. She was super hard to find for a while. She's showing up in more places lately, which is really nice. Let's go throw these things in the diorama. We'll get some close-ups, and then we'll be right back. guys let me know what you think who's your favorite from that was it Lockwood Battle Owen was it Maisie was it Wheatley was it Claire there's gonna be a poll up in the corner somewhere I don't know where it's gonna be somewhere there's gonna be a poll and I want you guys to vote on it I think it's up there uh, if you guys can vote on it I want to know which one's your favorite of this wave of action figures of humans who is your favorite out of those four I really do want to know your thoughts guys let me know also thumbs up or thumbs down rate the video the way you would rate the toys and then leave a comment down below telling me why you picked what you picked did you thumbs up because you thought there were cool sculpts they had cool accessories or did you thumbs down because you wish they had better articulation or you wish they looked better or you wish they came with better stuff whatever your reason are I want you to just do me a favor that's the payment I ask for me creating these videos is take just half a second there write down your thoughts leave a rating I will definitely appreciate it and if you guys like these videos and you want more of them consider hitting that subscribe button it's down there it's big it's red it starts with an s you know the word subscribe and if you want to take it up a notch what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to hit that little bell a nice big dinosaur swipe on that bell that way you guys don't miss anything when I put out a brand new Jurassic Park Jurassic World video also we're doing Star Wars lightsabers micro machines all that good stuff. I might even expand into other toy lines I've been thinking about it let me know your thoughts on that too if you want to see me do other toy lines I might, but it's got to be something I like, because I want it to be genuine, I want it to be real. I only want to give my Sad Baby Squad the goods, the stuff that I really believe in. So, Sad Baby Squad, that's you guys, the ones who get the notifications, who show up to the videos. You know I love you the most. You know it. And I want to put you guys in the vid. So if you guys have any clips, pictures, artwork, just like this, come up with something cool, a little meme you've made up. Yeah, that's the stuff. I want to put you in the vids, because I love you guys. And if you have your own channel... Get this, if you have your own channel and you want to shameless plug your own channel and you're part of the Sad Baby Squad, I have a Discord server for Sad Baby Squad. It's not all about me. It's not the Dano channel Discord server. It is a Sad Baby Squad Discord server where you guys are more than welcome to post your own videos, links to your channels. So there's a link down in the description among the other links. There's a link down there for the Discord chat. So read, read the little video description. There's links, so go to the Discord chat, join it, share your stuff. That way the whole squad can help each other out. Subscribe to each other if you like what you're watching. I like seeing what you guys make, so that's why I always check in. That's why I like to push the whole squad. Like I said, I love you guys. You guys are the best. I wouldn't be doing this without you. That's it for now. Until next time. I got no one's butt to hold. You know what? That's what we're doing because he's nearby. Here's an old school 93 Spinosaurus. Probably 94 or 5. But Spinosaurus from Kenner. I'm going to hold on to his butt and say goodbye forever. Now, just because today's video is over doesn't mean the fun has to stop. Be sure to click on one of these videos or playlists and keep it going. I put out new videos every week. We've got Star Wars content, lightsabers, lots of dinosaurs on the way. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that little notification bell. And if you can, share one of the vids. It's a great way to support the channel and it's much appreciated.